a Ripple employee just stated that this market is about to get hit by a much bigger wave. Yes, that wave will also carry XRP and the XRP system. This makes me very happy. We are going to talk about it. Hi, and welcome to the group. Everyone, my name is Nick. Hope to be in this video if you are new to the station. You did sign up to receive them.it seems like a very long time ago when we think about 2021, even though it was only three years ago. When we look back at this post from Coindesk, we see that the World Economic Forum says that blockchain could change $867 trillion worth of markets. I really think everyone should join the free chat. In the next sentence, there will be a link at the top. This is a free Discord that is one of the most useful and helpful ones out there. It has a free side with a lot of free crypto gems, market strategies, tips, market trends, and charts. New cheat sheets will also be dropped in this Discord. We already have a lot of comments from Discord users who are raving about how great it is. Now, what do you wait for? To join the free Discord, click on the link at the top of this page. We know that these numbers have changed a lot since then, but this is what they were looking at. Stocks, bonds, derivatives, securities, loans, repurchase deals, and even lending were some of the things they looked at. Then there is, of course, managing assets and running funds. When we look at the stock market, yes, it is being shook up. Markets for debt. They are, in fact, being messed up. Tokenization is what is shaking up all of these markets. But that was in 2021. And this is a study from the World Economic Forum. It says that over the past year, remember, this is 2021, experts in technology and financial services met at a number of global workshops and interviews. Take a look at all these names. The BI is the DTCC, the CFTC, City and Credit Suisse are some of them. The list goes on and on like the Bank of England. It's crazy because all of these names make us think of what they were doing. They were thinking about how to use DLT in areas like asset management, securities lending, and stocks and bonds. It was in 2020. In 2020, they made plans to do this. With these names, we can now start to see the steps that are being taken toward tokenization. When we look at the list of donors, we see that the DTCC and BCG are on it. There are also some very big banks here. This is really strange. I'm talking about the names that were linked to tokenization and DLC use cases in 2020 and 2021, including SWIFT. And from where we are now, it's easy to see how fast this is going. Also, look at how the project is being led of the World Economic Forum, which is in charge of planning the future and the future of money and credit systems. That's interesting. There are also some very big names. Then what I'm really interested in is how early we are in the tokenization process. That won't last long though. There was a post from Standard Chartered at the end of June that said trade finance would play a big part in the 30.10 trillion dollar market for tokenized real world assets by 2034. I already talked about trade finance, especially XDC, but they say $30 trillion by 2034. It was $16 trillion by 2030, which means it will double in another four years. And I don't think it will be just, say, $30 trillion by then. As for tokenization, I think it will spread so quickly once we reach the first trillion. Don't forget, though, who Standard Chartered is. Don't forget that they were linked to that study from the World Economic Forum that you can see at the bottom. But keep in mind that they put money into Ripple in 2016. The quote says that digitization is a top goal for the bank to make business, trade, and investment easier. Ripple is one of the most advanced DLT companies in the business, and they have a lot of experience with compliance and banking services. With this funding, we can use Ripple's knowledge to help us make more apps that can be sold and meet the changing needs of our clients and their ecosystems. In 2016, this happened. So now that we think about it, Ripple's knowledge and experience have only grown. So I'm curious about what's going on with Standard Chartered right now, and if they're still ready to work with Ripple, which we know they are. How? All right, Zodiac Custody. As you can see, Zodiac Custody is a business that is connected to Standard Charter. We also know that they work for Medeco. The Zodiac security system works with the Medeco network. Keep in mind that Medeco is now called Ripple. This proves once more that Standard Charter is still very vulnerable to Ripple. Why do I need to bring all of this up now? Why do I need to talk about this? Let's talk about a few things. Arctix is number one. Arctix and Ripple have recently stated that their partnership will continue. Over the next year, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of tokenized real-world assets owned by RWA will be added to the XRP ledger. I'm bringing this up because Marcus Infancher, SVP of Ripplex at Ripple, was recently on Tony Edwards' show, Think in Crypto One. He talked about how RWA tokenization through Arctix, the upcoming Ripple USD stablecoin, and other things are getting ready for institutional adoption. Look at this. In response to the crypto revolution, regular banks are starting to use tokenization. He says that the fact that Wall Street firms like BlackRock are supporting tokenization is more positive than the start of crypto ETFs by a large margin. Look it over. I really like what I'm seeing. And what really gets me excited is that, 
You know, this year we've seen a clear shift in the way traditional financial institutions are moving. They no longer just want to offer crypto as an investment class to their customers, now they want to solve real problems by getting into the tokenization game. As an example, Biddle by BlackRock has been more important to me than a spot in many ways. Bitcoin, you're dead. I. That's all there is to it. Tokenization is the next big thing for these organizations, yes. I also want to know who they are going to pick. They still need a market, even if they tokenize on other networks. Because these answers are so big, there needs to be a market for them. Medico already works with some of these big organizations, that much we know. We know that HSBC, which is on this page, works with Medeco, which is now Ripple by going back over here, okay? There is also work between BNP Paribas and Medeco. Many of the big names that are now getting into this area in a big way are still working with Ripple or what does Ripple have now? Take Medeco as an example. The big players are already being lined up. At the XRP Ledger Apex on June 14th, Graham Rodford, co-founder and CEO of Arkix, talks about getting financial institutions on chain, the new RWA collaboration, and what it all means for developers and users of the XRP Ledger. Look at this. So what does this new partnership between Arx and Ripple mean for all the extra PL users and writers in this room? It's hard to work with the big players, so we've decided to build everything ourselves. Right now, we have the administrator and the exchange. The only thing we were missing was the tokenization. Because of this, we chose to make our own tokenization engine and added the features we believe are necessary for equities. The Ripple team is someone we've known for a while. We've also always liked the technology. We've chosen to add it to our synchronization engine because of this. From a product point of view, that means that everything we do is on XRPL. Don't forget what Graham Rodford said. The Global Digital Stocks Exchange says that the amount of XRP traded on the XRP ledger could go through the roof. $30 to $50 trillion. Such a prediction could make Ripple much more popular and send the price of XRP through the roof, above $100. Thanks to BanksRP for this. You all know who I am, right? I don't like saying XRP to $100 or $1,000, yes. This does mean that XRP will reach $100. Okay. Pay close attention to what is being said. 30,001 to 50 million XRP, all traded on Artex. Here they are, I'll find my first predictions, but the market is made up of 1.4 quadrillion things. You can see that all of those types of assets are already starting to move on chain. We've seen a lot of people interested in money market funds, tokenized treasuries, and other similar products. This is why stable coins are important. When you talk about getting rid of cash, I see DTCC, Euro, Clearstream, and you know that it only takes one of those to go fully digital. And that's trillions of dollars worth of investments that also as crazy as this sounds, and there's Marcus Imager again, it's not impossible. I mean that this is something I could see happening. About 30 to $50 trillion on just one network out of, say, over a quadrillion dollars. That's not so bad. That's not a crazy guess, right? It's not crazy to think that. The XRP record shows a value of 10000000000000.00. I wouldn't be like, hey, let's be honest about this. There will be some money in XRP, but not all of it. I'm keeping a close eye on this. Yeah, this is something I'm really interested in because it could make XRP go through the roof and reach $100 or more. When is this going to take place? He did say in this talk that it might happen around 2025, I think. That might be in this movie clip, but I'm not sure. Let me play it again. This is still a very small part of a very large business. You know, we trade on Arkex and have 30 to 50 trillion XRP. Let's go with $50 trillion. If you look ahead two years, Ripple. Yes, in 2025, two years from now, since this happened in 2023. That's right, the fourth quarter of 2025. Even though I'm not going to see it, I would really love to.